basic study on the WT-12 family of Bluetooth devices by Blue Giga Technologies. Welcome to the training module on the WT-12 Bluetooth device. In this training module, we will explore the basic overview and interfaces for the device. Blue Giga's WT-12 family of devices provides an ideal solution for developers that want to integrate Bluetooth wireless technology to their design with limited knowledge of Bluetooth and RF technologies. By using the WT-12 combined with Blue Giga's complete development, testing and verification service offering, and an excellent developer support, OEMs and designers ensure that their product reach the market rapidly and cost effectively in the relation to time and resources. Blue Geeker has in-house knowledge of both software and hardware, offering customers a single point of contact for all Bluetooth-related issues. The device has a broad range of applications like handheld terminals, industrial devices, point-of-sale systems, PDAs, computer accessories, access points, automotive diagnostic units, etc. Shown on the left side of the screen is a block diagram. The device has a standard Blue Core 4 architecture with enhanced data rate which will deliver data rates up to 3 megabits per second. It has crystal oscillators at 26 megahertz, flash, combined balance and filter, matching antenna, USB, synchronous serial interface, UART, audio PCM interface, programmable IOs, reset, and an 802.11 coexistence interface. The Blue Core 4 is a single chip Bluetooth solution which implements the Bluetooth radio transceiver and also an on chip microcontroller. It implements Bluetooth 2.0 plus EDR and can deliver data rates up to 3 megabits per second. The WT12 UART interface provides a simple mechanism for communicating with other serial devices using the RS-232 standard. The UART interface of the WT12 uses voltage levels of 0 to VDD and thus external transceiver IC is required to meet the voltage level specifications of UART. Four signals are used to implement the UART function. When WT12 is connected to another digital device, UART RX and UART TX transfer data between the two devices. The remaining two signals, UART CTS and UART RTS, can be used to implement RS-232 hardware flow control where both are active low indicators. The synchronous serial port interface is for interfacing with other digital devices. The SPI port can be used for system debugging and can also be used for programming the flash memory. SPI interface is connected using the MOSI, MISO, CSB, and clock pins. The module operates as a slave and thus MISO is an output of the module. MISO is not a high impedance state when CSB is pulled high. Instead, the module outputs 0 if the processor is running and 1 if it is stopped. Thus, the device should not be connected in a multi-slave arrangement by a simple parallel connection of slave MISO lines. The device is compatible with the general circuit interface, a standard synchronous 2B plug DISDN timing interface. The two 64K bits per second B channels can be accessed when this mode is configured. The start of frame is indicated by the rising edge of PCM sync and runs at 8 kHz. With the WT12 in slave mode, the frequency of the PCM clock can be up to 4.096 MHz. Pulse code modulation is a standard method used to digitize audio and particularly voice patterns for transmission over digital communication channels. It supports 13 or 16-bit linear, 8-bit mu law or a law compounded samples formats at 8K samples per second and can receive and transmit on any selection of three of the first four slots following PCM sync. The PCM configuration options are enabled by setting the PS key PS key PCM config 32. When configured, as the master of the PCM interface, WT12 generates PCM clock and PCM sync. When configured as a slave of the PCM interface, WT12 accepts PCM clock and PCM sync. PCM clock rates up to 2048 kHz are acceptable. 
Long Frame Sync is the name given to a clocking format that controls the transfer of PCM data, words, or samples. In Long Frame Sync, the rising edge of PCM Sync indicates the start of PCM Word. When WT12 is configured as PCM Master, generating PCM Sync and PCM Clock, then PCM Sync is 8 bits long. When Blue Core 4 External is configured as PCM Slave, PCM Sync may be from two consecutive falling edges of PCM Clock to half the PCM Sync rate, that is 62.5 microseconds long. In Short Frame Sync, the falling edge of PCM Sync indicates the start of PCM Word. PCM Sync is always one clock cycle long. At the baseband level, EDR uses the same 1.6 kHz slot rate as basic data rate and therefore the packets can be 1, 3 or 5 slots long as per the basic data rate. Where EDR differs from the basic data rate is that in the same 1 MHz symbol rate, 2 or 3 bits are used per symbol compared to 1 bit per symbol used by the basic data rate. To achieve the increase in number of bits per symbol, two new modulation schemes have been used P by 4 DQPSK and 8 DPSK. WT12 is supplied with Bluetooth version 2.0 plus EDR compliant stack firmware, which runs on the internal RISC microcontroller. The WT12 software architecture allows Bluetooth processing and the application program to be shared in different ways between the internal RISC microcontroller and an external host processor. The Apple layers of the Bluetooth stack can be run either on chip or on the host processor. The figure describes the iRAP software solution. 